Hi, my name is Joanna and today I am going to talk about our work called Tish Text Cross-Model Generalized Distillation for Text Video Retrieval. In this work, we tackle the text video retrieval problem. So, given a natural language sentence and a collection of videos, the goal is to design a system that is able to retrieve the video that is best described by the query. I will present now a short overview of how the majority of retrieval methods work. As already stated, we have a text query and a video. The process begins by extracting textual features using a pre-trained text embedding. A similar process happens for the video side as well. So, given a video, the video features are extracted using a pre-trained video embedding. After having the features, it is time to train the retrieval model. The final goal is to learn a joint embedding between text and video using a ranking loss. Let's start with a baseline model. This model uses only one pre-trained text embedding and one pre-trained video embedding. While this model achieves relatively good performance, recent work started using multiple video embeddings. These embeddings vary from ImageNet features to action recognition or even audio modalities and are often called video experts. As it comes to performance, this approach brings a significant boost as compared to the baseline. In contrast, we are the first to propose the usage of multiple text embeddings for the text video retrieval task. We show in extensive experiments that not only a similar boost can be obtained using multiple text embeddings, but we are able to achieve this gain by using the additional information only during training. This means that our approach does not add any type of computational overhead during inference. In this presentation, we will show results on three important benchmarks for text video retrieval task. Moreover, in the paper, we report results on four additional datasets. However, what is the intuition behind our approach? From this extensive study, we have shown that the retrieval performance varies drastically when changing the pre-trained text embedding. Let's take, for example, the LSMDC dataset. A gain of more than 6% can be obtained just by choosing to use the OpenAI GPT instead of word to vec Moreover, we can observe the opposite for the demo dataset, where the performance drops when using OpenAI GPT. Overall, from our experiments, GPT-2XL was the most robust text embedding. The variance in performance, both inter- and intra-dataset, suggests the presence of complementary information among different text embeddings. This justifies the idea of using more than one text embedding for this task. Here is an overview of our method. We leverage the side information brought by different text embeddings through generalized distillation. We begin by training several teachers. All teachers share the same architecture, but use different pre-trained text embeddings at input. Now, we compute the similarity metrics between all the queries and all the videos from the training set. In this way, we obtain one similarity metrics for each teacher. Next, we aggregate all the teacher similarity metrics. In our final experiments, we use a simple but effective mean aggregation. Now, it is time to train the student model. In addition to the retrieval loss, the student learns to mimic the aggregated teacher similarity metrics using a distillation loss. In this way, we introduce a novel algorithm that combines multiple text embeddings for the text video retrieval task. By making use of generalized distillation, there is no additional computation cost during inference. Moreover, this algorithm can be easily combined with recent works and it is not limited to using a particular model for both the student and teachers. In order to prove the fact that our method, TeachText, is not limited to using a particular architecture, we tested it using three methods on several datasets. Also, we proposed the CE Plus architecture, which has several technical improvements over the CE architecture. You can observe that TeachText brings a significant gain in all cases. For more results, please consult our paper. Now, some qualitative examples. You can see the results with and without using our TeachText method. So, as it can be seen, without using TeachText, the model retrieves an incorrect video. By using TeachText, we manage to correct this error by leveraging the additional information brought by the teacher. Thank you for listening. Code and data are available online on our project page. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.